Hey knitters, welcome back to Our Knits and Pearls. I'm your host, Aro of Aro Knits and Pearls. As always, find my Ravelry, Instagram, Ko-Fi, Patreon, linked in the description below, as well as links to any dyers, makers, designers that I talk about in this week's episode. And there is a special thing in the description, so I highly recommend you click the, you know, the little carrot that says more, um, because Verton Rose, who designed this amazing sweater that I'm wearing right now has given me and to share with y'all a 20% coupon code for all of her patterns in her store and I am about to gush about Verton Rose so buckle up real quick so Verton Rose is a designer she's relatively new um, she hasn't been designing for very long it's it's kind of staggering like how quick her progress has been and she doesn't do well, I don't want to say that because it sounds insulting. She doesn't tend to do simple patterns. Like her designs are very intricate. Um, and I don't mean to say that other designers who do simple things are lesser in any way, but it does take a lot of effort to think about, you know, different design elements to incorporate into your work. And I'll just show you an example. So if you guys remember, this is the Malina that I did for her, Malina. Um, it has this little faux cable, faux cable eyelet detail that goes down the raglan. So I, um, this was actually a modification in the little eyelets, the little holes. For those of you who are new to knitting eyelets, you know, are little holes basically. So the eyelets was a modification. I, instead of knitting through the back loop in those raglan increases, just knit, knit straight. Um, and that's what created the eyelet. If you do the back loop, you will just have a, a whole less cable thing. Um, and then Malina has this amazingly gorgeous lace on the sleeve. I'm just like, even looking at this on the screen, I'm like, gosh, that looks so good. And I told myself I would make another one. It's definitely on my list. I just, I have a lot on my plate um, cause I keep putting more on my plate, my own dang fault. But yeah, so that's what I mean. This is such a gorgeous design. It pairs with everything. It's so easy to wear. That's what I like about her designs. They are so wearable. And you can omit certain details, like if you wanted to not do the raglan increase on the side, which I don't know why you wouldn't. It's so pretty. Like if you wanted to omit the cable detail, you could. If you wanted to omit the lace sleeves, you could. But why would you? It's so stunning. And Veronica, what I'm wearing now, the Veronica Pullover, I think is the perfect representation of what I love about her style. It's so approachable, but incorporates so many beautiful little touches. Um, I showed you guys the cabling down the side last time. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And now that you have the finished thing, you can see we have these sleeve cuffs, we have this gorgeous little necktie, and I just love these little feminine touches because I, I tend to like a more feminine wardrobe, y'all know. But if I chose to omit, you know, the cabling on the sleeve, if I chose to omit as big of a necktie and instead just like bound it in the round on the neck, like right here, I would just have a little keyhole. That would also be cute. Actually, that's a good idea. Um, so that's what I love about her patterns. They're so fun, um, but not overwhelming because I use my brain a lot at work. For those of you who don't know, I am an attorney. I'm an attorney, so I'm thinking a lot. And by the time I get home and I'm ready just to spend the evening, I don't want another mental challenge. My day is mental challenges. I wanna just relax at home, especially with my hobby, knitting. So I am gravitated towards more simple designs, I think. Like, I don't want an all over lace project. I don't want an all over cable project. If I do, those are very rare and I will pretty much only work on those on the weekend when I have the bandwidth for it, the mental bandwidth. But for me, who uses my brain a lot, I prefer the simpler knits. And Verton Rose, what I like about her so much is that she does kind of an in-between. She has these little details where they are more of a mental stimulation, but it's small and by the time you're done with it, you're like, wow, I feel really accomplished rather than, oh, just kill me, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I, I really love her designs. Okay, so before I talk about this more, I will give you the code because you're probably like, Aro, just give me the code. Again, it's in the description below, but the code is my name, A-R-O, 
two, zero. So RO20. It is case sensitive, so be sure to capitalize my name because I am an all caps kind of girl. I'm kidding, but also not. ARO20, all caps, okay? That's how you get 20% off any of her designs in her store, including the Malina that I showed you. God, look at that lace. Malina and the Veronica, my personal favorites because I test knit them. Um, but yeah, okay, now let me get into this. So I don't know if you noticed when I showed you this cuff, but there is the slightest, the slightest color difference here, starting here. And you might be like, yeah, I did notice that. Why is that? I don't, I don't know actually if you can notice that on the screen. But the reason is I ran out of yarn. I lost yarn chicken. I lost yarn chicken with one inch left on the second cuff. I had already finished the first sleeve, no problem. Second sleeve, just one inch. And then the necktie. So I was at a point where I was ready to buy the yarn that I used. And the yarn that I used, really quickly, the main yarn, Moondrake, Moondrake Fiberco in the colorway Frozen on her soft sport base. <clears throat> Pardon me. I used three skeins, three skeins of that Moondrake sport. Um, it was not enough. Like I said, one inch and the necktie. Um, I could have bought it, but I didn't because I... I just, it was so little. It was so little that I, I didn't want to justify it. And now I can't even find, oh, there it is. So the main mohair that I used is, this is what I have left of two skeins. If you are doing larger than a size three, you definitely need to uh, get in a third skein of mohair. And I'm talking 50 grams, not the 20 grams or 25 grams. If you're using the 25 gram little skeins of mohair, please do the math. I'm not gonna do math for you, I can't do math. But if you are using a full skein of mohair, hair, which is 50, 50 grams, then you're gonna need a third um, because this is what I got left. It is very small, as you can see. So this is um, Ritual Dye's Fay mohair hair in the colorway Lamb's Ear. And it's a very light mohair. hair, it's very beautiful, and it fit with Frozen perfectly, as you can see. Looks great. I don't have anything of Frozen to show you guys. Like I said, I'm out. Um, but I was looking at my stash and uh, I have a pretty sizable stash, uh, but not a lot of single skeins. However, I do have just a couple and this was one of them. This is Stress Knits Yarn, Stress Knits Yarn, and the colorway No Trail to Follow. So Stress Knits, Stacy, she has a podcast too, if you want to give it a watch. Um, she's taking a step back from dying for personal family reasons, which I completely understand and support, but I'm also still sad about it. I can be both. I can be both supportive and sad uh, because she's very talented and I really, I really love her yarns and I wanted more and more, um, but I understand why she had to take a step back. So I'm, I'm being supportive, but also a little sad because I will miss her yarns. Anyway, so this colorway, No Trail to Follow, is a very light mint, but it has speckling. I knew that added with lamb's ear, because at that point I still had <clears throat> a bit more left. So added with lamb's ear, I knew it would still be too light because this is obviously too light. Like you can see better in person. I'm not sure how the camera light is capturing it, but it was gonna be way too light. Then I remembered I had a bunch of mohair left from the other mint project I just finished, the Faye Raglan by um, This Bird Knits. And if you guys remember, it's Ritual Dyes Faye Mohair, the same mohair as this, this little nub, um, but it's a darker color. The colorway is jadeite. So like I said, darker color plus light fingering plus light mohair, I think would level out to the same gauge as sport and mohair. I tried it out and it looked almost seamless. Like you really can barely tell there's a difference. Obviously there is a difference, but it's so slight. And on the necktie, like you really can't tell. I, like there's some speckling, but in person, I just think it looks actually really pretty. I think it looks really pretty. Um, but yeah, so that was my stash coming to save the day. And I definitely, I said a lot while I was working on it, that Bear Girls meme where it's like improvise, adapt, overcome. That was me improvising, adapting, and overcoming. 
I ran out of yarn, but luckily my stash saved the day so I didn't have to order anymore and extend this longer. So yeah, I just, this pattern was so beautiful and I wanted it to be perfect. And this slight little change in the yarn did not affect my ability to love this work. Um, I actually love it a little bit more now because I have a little story about it. And I just, I love it so much. Barrett and Rose did a phenomenal job on this pattern as she did on the Malina. And I love working with her on test knits. She's just so talented. And again, you should really use that coupon code RO20, all caps, A-R-O-20, all caps, two zero, not spelled out. Yeah you should use that code because 20% off of all her patterns. I think it's worth it. I might get a little one. She didn't say I couldn't use it. She actually said I could use it, so. But yes, yeah, so I'm sharing it with y'all so that I hope you will support her because she's such a great designer. I'm obsessed. I want to make another one now. Now that I'm like looking at myself wearing it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you could make another. Maybe a pink one. God knows I don't have enough pink sweaters. It's fine. Um, on the subject of pink sweaters, I guess the two whips that I'm working on are pink. They're on the opposite ends of spectrum of the spectrum though. Um, I will show you the bags too, because I, I don't usually show you the bags I'm working with. I've shown you these before. This one is from Knitting Nelly. Knitting Nelly. Um, she does patchwork inspired bags. I really love this one. Obviously it's pink, my favorite, but it's kind of a soft pink, which is fitting because the project I have in here is my soft pink pattern. So Nutcracker is this strange in-between of brown and pink. Um, strange but beautiful. It This is the Moonset Pullover. I am so close. Actually, no, I am binding off on the body today. That's what I'm planning to do at the airport. I'm recording this because I have to get to the airport right now. Um, but yeah, so Moonset Pullover by Ozetta. I showed you guys this last time. I'm still obsessed with how neat my back seam looks. Look at that. Um, but I'm really excited to have it done. I'm binding off on the body today. I fluctuated a little bit between whether I wanted a folded over hem or an I-cord finish like she suggested in the pattern, mainly because this folded over hem, it looked so good. It looked so good that I became like re-obsessed with the idea of a folded over hem. But after thinking about it, I'm like, no, I just want to knit it to pattern. I just want to do the I cord. So that's what I will do at the airport. I will do the I cord. Um, the colorway, I told you guys this last time, but the colorway is Nutcracker by Explorer Knits and Fibers. And it is just a perfect brownish pink, like very earthy, but still feminine, which is the kind of look I'm trying to go for these days, minus, you know, what I'm wearing, which is just feminine. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I am very excited to have it done for my friend Andrea, who's visiting. Andrea is actually going to teach a class at um, Seed Stitch, the local yarn store. So she's gonna teach a class on ergonomic knitting. So I'm excited, I'm taking it. So if you guys haven't signed up, uh, you really should if you're local. And if you guys have signed up, I will see you there. Then the other bag I have is from Earl Grey Fiber. She's actually, she's taken a hiatus since um, Rhinebeck last year, Rhinebeck in October. I haven't seen her post anything and I checked her website and it says she's still preparing for Rhinebeck. So I think she hasn't updated her website. I hope she's okay. Cause I really like her stuff and we've talked. So I hope she's okay. I should check it on her. But um, yeah, the bag is really cute. I like that it's a flat bottom and it has cork. Um, the top is a little floppy, but I actually like it because it's it makes it really lightweight. So oftentimes this is my go bag. Like if I'm going out knitting, I'll just shove everything in here and go because it's so lightweight that it can go in anything. Um, this yarn is a little loud, if you can't tell. I think it's like screaming on the screen. So this is going to be the clove sweater by Rachel Kurihara or Rachel Knits Things. I was in the test knit group when this first came out and I, clove sweater is one of the best fitting sweaters I have. Um, I just, I wear it all the time. It goes with so many different outfits and it's absolutely a go-to and I've always wanted to make another and this is my chance. So I had pulled out yarn. I was having a really, really rough week at work last week. So I just pulled out yarn to, that made me feel better. 
and um, my boyfriend came over and he saw all the yarn on the table and he's like, oh wow, that one's like screaming. And I was like, in a bad way? Do you not like it? He's like, no, that looks really pretty. I kind of want to see it knit up. And I was like, do you think I should, do you think I should make my next thing in that? And he was like, yeah. So that's what we're doing. Um, this is a four fun cast on and it's been a while since I've had a true four fun cast on and I'm glad that I'm doing it. So the yarn that I'm using is Passion Knits. The base is Spellbound and the colorway is Not Foxy. That's Foxy with two X's. Let me just show you. Yeah, so I met um, Passion Knits at VKL, Vogue Knitting Live in February of this year. Um, I only met her through Darcy, Darcy Does It of DarcyDoesIt.com. Um, she's great, love her. She also has a podcast you should listen to. Um, but yeah, so I met Passion Knits through Darcy and I fell in love with this colorway because I've always wanted a hot pink sweater, but I've talked myself out of it for a very, very long time. And then Reshma posted recently her wearing a hot pink sweater, which is not in her normal color wheelhouse. She's a very um, mustard, warm tones girl. And for her to do this, it was just like, whoa. And then when she did, I was like, I want to be you. So I will also cast on a hot pink sweater, basically was my thought process. Um, yeah, so Stress Knits, not Foxy, paired with Electric Love by Scranton Stitcher. Scranton Stitcher. I love, love Kitty Suit. It's so pretty, it's so loud. I love these paired together. Um, they're both smaller dyers, so I really wanna like help them bump up their following and hopefully get more attention to their work. Actually, I don't know that Scranton Stitcher is small anymore. I think of her as really big just because all of my friends know her and all of my friends support her. I actually don't know, I should have checked that. But Passion Knits, I definitely wanna help grow. Um, they're both wonderful people. Uh, and like, you can't argue with these colors. Like, look at it, look at it. Ah, Yeah, um, I went with the clove sweater for this because the colorway is obviously aggressively feminine and clove sweater is a very understated classic silhouette. So, and modern silhouette is if you choose to crop it. So I thought it would be a good juxtaposition rather than going over the top. Like if I did this in this, if I did Veronica in this colorway, I think it would be a little over the top even for me. Um, but the clove sweater with its classic lines, clean line silhouettes, I was like, this is, this is the way to go. So really happy with this choice. Um, I will be working on this a lot while I'm at my father's. So last time I went to visit my father, I actually didn't pack enough projects or yarn. Like literally had nothing. I think I talked about it with y'all. I had nothing to work on. So it forced me into a slump and it continued when I got back. And that was not fun. So I am making sure I have a lot to work on. The other yarn that I'm bringing, I have it caked up in my suitcase, but this is Hawari Bazaar Co. Hawari Bazaar, I've talked about her a lot, love her work. This is the colorway Film Out. It's this gorgeous, beigey, lavender, speckled, and this is Explore Knits and Fibers in the colorway Linen um, on Surrey. So linen is her, I would say like truest, truest neutral. Um, and I think it'll pair really lovely with film out. What I'm making with it is the Community Cozy by Alicia Plummer. Um, I love Alicia. She's so sweet. She's so funny. Um, and she's doing, she's doing a test knit. I know I told you guys no more test knits. And technically this is my only test knit right now. Right now, right? Right? No? Yeah. Um, but yeah, when she put this out, it was so cute. It's a textured design. I'm really excited to start it. Um, and the yarn that she's suggesting, she was suggesting two strands of like that, um, that unspun yarn. Do you remember? I think it was last year when it, unspun yarn was like really in and people, everybody was like, look at this and you could just rip it apart. And someone made a joke reel about like every knitting YouTuber ever. And they're like pulling it apart, but instead they used like toilet paper to, to show it's, the same consistency. Anyway, I laughed, um, but yeah, I'm not using the unspun yarn because I don't wanna buy more yarn for a test knit, unless there's a, like, 
if it's a new base or if there is a really generous coupon code to use that specific yarn or that specific yarn like can't be replaced. Um, I know unspun yarn is very different and I have not used it in a pattern before and I do want to, but I really want to use up my stash more. So this is what I'm making with it. I know I'll be on gauge because I just used a DK and a Surrey um, for another pattern recently. So I'm feeling confident. Obviously I will check as I go, not swatch because I don't swatch. But if you're a new garment maker, you should swatch. Again, never do as I do, only as I say. And I say you should swatch or at least check your gauge. I check my gauge, maybe further in than I should, but I check it, I check it. And if I'm really wrong, I'll rip out, I'll start over. I have no sympathy for myself. But yeah, so film out and explore Knits and Fibers Linen for the Community Cozy by Alicia Palmer. That'll be my third project that I'm bringing. And I'm only gonna be there six days. And like, I know y'all understand, I'm only gonna be there six days. I'm bringing three projects. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I really should pack a fourth because I'm worried I'll run out. Like, I know you get it, but we need help. <laughs> like, this can't be right, you know? But this is just how we live. Um, the last thing I have to show you, oh, I have a couple things. Okay, so before I can show that, Emma Bloom Creates, bloom.create on Instagram. Her name is Emma. She's a lovely maker, lovely designer. <clears throat> and she was visiting the Mountain West. So she went to visit some of our, some of my, our mutual friends in Colorado. She actually met up with Allie of Explore Knits as well. And um, then she came up here to Salt Lake. So she was only in town for two days. I felt really bad because I was so overwhelmed with work at the time that I couldn't dedicate as much time and attention to, to like showing her the city as much as I wanted because it was just a crazy time at work and I felt awful about it. Um, of course she was sweet, kind and reassuring and told me that it was no big deal, but I felt bad. Um, but she did leave me this little gift that I'm going to show you. She gave me this little stitch marker set from Sassafras Knits, including this little pouch from Sassafras Knits. And I'm one of those people that like, I snubbed my nose at pouches because I never understood the point of them. But then I grew up and I realized I have like 50 things in my bag and none of them like I can identify by touch. So it's just digging around in there. The pouches really do help, pouches really do help. And I was just thinking to myself, oh, I need to get a little notions pouch for my trip to my dad's. And here we are. So I'm about to pack this in like two seconds. But yeah, this gorgeous little stitch marker set from Sassafras. It was very sweet of Emma to give me a gift because I wasn't expecting anything at all. Very sweet. Um, and I know she would say she had a great time no matter what, but I really hope she did have a good time. Um, yes, so while we were hanging out, it was just one of the worst days at work I've ever had. Everything was on fire. One of the worst days at work. So I was like, at, during lunchtime, I'm going to take a lunch, like leave, use my time. And instead I'm gonna take Emma up to the local yarn store that I like, um, Seed Stitch in Bountiful. Seed Stitch in Bountiful is just like 15 minute drive away from my apartment. So very easy to get to. Um, just a little outside of Salt Lake. So if you're visiting, visiting Salt Lake, I highly recommend Seed Stitch. Love their selection. This, she has some local yarns, indie yarns, as well as very accessible basic yarns. And I, when I picked Emma up, I was like, I am just in the worst possible mood. I can't imagine like anything making me feel better right now other than the, the universe ceasing to exist with me along with it. Um, and she was like, well, maybe buying yarn will make you feel better. And I'm like, I don't even think that would make me feel better. And she was shooketh, shooketh. Um, and then when we went to the yarn store and I started touching the yarn and I decided to buy yarn, I realized that I was wrong and buying yarn in fact would make me feel better. Um, I didn't buy anything fancy. I've shown this to you guys before, but what I got was Barocco Mochi. I got a sweater quantity of Barocco Mochi. So Barocco Mochi, I have used and talked about. And if you are an old listener, viewer, you know about it already. But for the newer ones, I cannot tell you how obsessed with this yarn I am. And it is such an accessible price point. 
at, at least compared to the Indie dyed yarn that I usually use. So this at seed stitch is 1240 a skein and it is 37% alpaca, baby alpaca, 35% nylon. So high, high nylon content if you are completely opposed to synthetics, um, not for you, but it's 26% wool, um, fine merino, and 2% others, which is related to the the little flex, I'm pretty sure. But for those of you who aren't as concerned with the plastic content, the nylon content, it is really a gorgeous yarn. It's considered an Aran weight yarn, and it is wonderful to work with. I loved working with this. It has a great balance. I love the stitch definition. Well, not stitch definition. Like it's it's fluffy without having to hold something double. It's really convenient. It's really beautiful. I I did knit a sweater out of it last year, but I gave it to my relatives in Korea. So I don't have it to show you, but it really is stunning. And I'm going to make a Felix pullover with it. I've made a Felix pullover before, um, an actual Aran weight yarn, but I want a more lightweight version, like literally lightweight um, with this. Um, this is about 200 yards of skein. Oh, yeah, 200 yards of skein, 191 yards of skein. So yeah, 200. 191 yards of skein. And the Felix has a very low yardage requirement because it is an Aran weight. And even though this looks a little bit thinner, it's because once it's knit up, like the halo, the, the fluff, the fuzz, will fill out any gaps so it becomes more Aran weight. Um, I can't wait to work with it again. I love it. And buying it did make me feel better. So Emma was right. Um, I'm not saying that buying yarn will solve all of my problems, but it certainly doesn't hurt. It makes me feel better. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it when I feel like it, and this is what I got. Baroque Mochi. Can't say enough good things about it because I love it. And then I'm gonna hold off on showing you guys some of the other stuff because they will relate more to what I'm planning on starting very soon. And I know I'm sorry to end it on a cliffhanger, but I really have to get to the airport to go see my dad and my brother. So I hope I showed you guys enough. Please use the coupon code from Barrett and Rose. It will be linked in the description below. And the code again is A-R-O, all caps, two zero, R-O-20 for 20% off all her patterns. She's not even giving me anything for this. Like she's just giving me the coupon code. I just want to share it with you guys because I'm really excited about her designs. Like I love this. Oh my God, I love this. Like so cute, so cute. Okay, um, I have to get to the airport now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I wasn't as crazy as I felt because my brain is going like 200 miles a minute. Um, but I love you guys. Please be safe wherever you are. I hope you knit something. And if you're not feeling it, I hope watching this makes you feel something positive instead of just wanting me to calm down. But um, love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.